Think of the biggest, most blatant oxymorons you've ever heard of. Like hot chocolate in the dead of summer. It's like 100 degrees out and you're drinking hot chocolate. You're eating chili. That just doesn't sound right. That's not good. That doesn't make any sense. This doesn't make any sense. And yet, it kind of feels so right. It actually looks awesome. Pink Dynaco Chick Hicks. This is crazy. I am so excited that the factory customizers were like, hey, that's a cool idea. Let's do that. And here we are, a great affordable piece to add to your collection. I am not in any way sponsored by the factory customizers or the eBay sellers, but hey, it is a great price, great car, great quality, and obviously we're going to investigate that more as the review goes on here. But I'm so pumped, as you could already tell. I did a short actually on this. I put it on TikTok. I think I also have it on my YouTube channel here as well, so check that out if you want a fun spin on Pink Chick Hicks. We're gonna be a little bit more serious in this video. Obviously, we're gonna be very serious, no. But yeah, we're going to actually review him and show all of the other pink cars, mostly customs as well, actually all customs, and some of the other versions of Chick Hicks. And I also have a big announcement I wanna give you guys at the end of the video, but first, I wanna shout out Get Me Collectibles. If you guys need anything ranging from mini racers Micro Drifters, Mini Adventures, regular 155 scale diecast, Jay the Stuff, he's got it all. eBay store linked in the description below along with his email address. Let's dive right on in now with this beautiful piece. So this is a factory custom, which means it wasn't necessarily handcrafted like those customs by Shane Cooper I review or Sensei Luminous, Jim Scavenger, etc. These are produced on a mass scale in factories by people who have kind of connections with the Mattel factory. I mean, they got maybe some toolings, they got some molds, and maybe that was a while ago because now I'm pretty sure they could stand on their own two feet since they've been up and running for so long. They're pretty established. But yeah, this is not a official Mattel product. Mattel, you know, if you show this to Mattel, they pretend it doesn't exist. And sorry, Mattel, it's cool. You know, hey, you haven't stopped it. Yeah, that's true, yeah. They have not put an end to this even though they could, they could be like, they could walk into the factories, you know, shut them all down over in China because they are issuing counterfeit products. But hey, the world goes around. Everyone's happy in the end. Winning cures everything. Mattel wins. These guys kind of benefit from it too. But hey, my opinion, they put out some good stuff, stuff that Mattel is not willing to do. Mattel would never do this. And I get it. I mean, pink Dianco chickens is not canon there's no reason for it to be like a special edition or anything but it's so awesome like oh my gosh all right enough just glowing over it let's take a look at him up close here so obviously based on the regular dynaco chick hicks which is blue there you have the logo pretty standard dynaco logo on the left 86 on the right he's got his typical mustache grill expressions are the same he does have the raised eye lid here nowadays all the cars have flat eyelids i do love the black wheels and the black tires it, it's a great contrast you know the actual version has blue tires but i don't think <coughs> excuse me pink tires would have looked great on pink chick hicks here i think that was the move to go black contingency sponsors are piston cup nitroate little torquey pistons no saw move springs retread violin and easy idle you could tell that this is a factory custom because the <laughs> contingency sponsors there aren't perfect. You know, these are a little blurrier, I must say, than these. These look pretty clear, but you could see like the big white border on the Vitaline there, a little bit on Mood Springs and a little bit on almost all of them. And yes, these have white borders or backgrounds too, but not to the same extent. Like look at the Vitaline one there and how it's kind of a nice tight white box. Here, it extends way up into that corner there. So just kind of small things like that. You can notice that this is definitely a factory custom. The 86 there looks pretty cool. Same old font, which is kind of similar to the Super Clarendon font, which I have used before in some of my graphics and videos. You have Dynaco there on the back, 86 on the roof. He's got black windows now, which is kind of an interesting choice. But again, I think it looks good. I'm sure gray would have looked fine as well, but the black along with the black wheels and the black mustache creates a really nice contrast. And yeah, I do think that was probably the best move. Now, this factory custom has a little bit of history. 
They originally ran this in a very, very small quantity back in the early 2010s, I think, became one of the rarest factory customs of all time. It's actually included in the factory custom book, which a lot of you may not be familiar with, but it is a book that somebody like you and me made. It's just completely, you know, third party, just a collector, a fan, created the book and is all of the most rare factory customs in that early time period. So, you know, the new ones that you see out there right now, like for example, <laughs> this red chick kicks here, you know, this is not, you know, there is probably one similar to this in the book. And same thing with this now. Similar ones in the book, maybe even identical, but they are not that same like run that consisted of only 25 or whatever it may be that are uber rare. Now this one here is, this is from the book and it is a part of that original run, Silver Chrome Chick Hicks, extremely a rare factory custom. You can see it's not in the best of condition, but it is one of the most rare factory customs you can ever get. I'm not sure how many this one is limited to in particular, but yeah, you won't see too many of these popping around. This gold one is one of the newer ones. And even still, this is very rare and expensive, but I don't believe this exact one. Yeah, I mean, there might be a gold chrome one in the book, and this is where it gets confusing because you'll like look through the book, even though the book in and of itself is like a thousand dollars rare. I know, crazy. Why don't you just publish more? Anyways, you'll be like scrolling through the book and you'll be like, oh, hey, like, oh, I have this, I have this. And you'll be like, oh my God, I have one of 25, like, yay. No, that was the original run. The codes on the base are going to be different, all that stuff too. And you can see here, it doesn't even say Mattel anymore, but it does have a couple codes that we're familiar with, made in China and all that. But yeah, that's huge to keep in mind. I know you get excited. A lot of people think that they have something rare, but it's just not a part of that original run. This is something that they did many years later and produced on a much larger scale. And that's why it's only selling for like $7 on eBay. Still, great piece to add to the collection. Those other ones are basically extinct. You'll never see one again. I'll never see one again. I'm very fortunate to have that silver chrome one. So, you know, all in all, I'll take this one without a blink of the eye. Now, there are a few other pink McQueens or pink cars in general I want to compare him to. We'll get to that bad boy back there in a second. But this is another recent factory custom they did, and it's Pink Lightning McQueen. Different shade of pink. This pink is much more similar to the you know, again, original version that they did in that factory custom book, that original run. But yeah, it's nice to have them both together. Spruce up your collection a little bit with some eye-catching pink cars. Certainly not often that Mattel makes a pink car. Almost never, right? I can't even think of one off the top of my head. There's Chucky. Yeah, okay. There's a few that are like borderline pink. You have Tailgate. I think, yeah, that's his name, her name, right? Tailgate. I always get some of the Demolition Derby cars messed up. Here we have a Pink Sally. This one is a hand-painted custom, I believe. You know, again, some of these are similar to the ones that you'll find in the factory custom book. And I know I'm giving you guys a ton of information right now. I don't mean to confuse you or anything, but basically, you have a factory custom book, which, like I said, in and of itself, you can't get. It's basically as extinct as the cars that it pictures and writes about so i mean that just doesn't make sense to me that's a whole nother tale for another day is why that book is so damn rare like what the hell anyways inside of that book you have almost all the factory customs produced in that early time period and none of which you can get now like no none of that which are currently sold from these customizers or the ebay sellers that represent them and none of which are pretty much you know popping up on ebay from time to time this one was an exception, still though, doesn't happen often, if at all. And here is a pink Apple iCar with black decals, pretty interesting, kind of just a weird one. And yeah, this one is not a factory custom, but a hand painted one. Just thought it was an interesting one to add to the collection. I got it only for like $30, I think, back in the day. Here you have another pink chick, just without decals. This one's really cool. I believe though, another hand painted one. Although this one, I'm a little bit, this one actually might be <laughs> one of the original factory customs from that book. I'm not entirely sure. I don't want to say something and then be wrong about it, but this one could definitely be one of the most legit ones and one of the rarer ones from that book. But I really have no way of confirming it. 
unfortunately. I need the book. I really, yeah, I could really use the book myself. I've only ever seen pictures of the pages. I think I have almost all of them. So maybe I should make my own book. That'd be kind of cool. I've thought about doing that, making my own book about just rare stuff and prototypes because I have a bunch of stuff that I could photograph and make a book out of and you know provide really cool information to a lot of people out there. And I also would not make the book uber rare. I mean, <laughs> this guy literally published like, 10 it seems he literally only published i mean i'm sure he published around like 100 or whatever but for whatever reason they just <laughs> not for sale anywhere they're even rarer than el Matador. this is a jim scavenger custom of pink bling bling lightning mcqueen with pinstriping rusty's lightning mcqueen decals or whatever and now moving on to some more of the chick hicks's here we have a custom transforming mcqueen or chick hicks rather this is from joe elgato I reviewed this on my channel a long time ago. One of the coolest customs and very underrated, honestly. I really should give him more attention. Just just think about him more, you know? That's really what I should do. But yeah, here you have the silver chrome version of Dynaco Chick. And of course, the gold chrome, which looks way better in my opinion, but not nearly as rare as the silver chrome one. Yeah, it's funny, this guy and the gold Sally and the gold The King and the gold World Grand Prix Lightning McQueen all used to be available on eBay from China for $10 or less. Most of them were from the $6 to $8 range. And then, you know, all of a sudden it seemed one day they were just gone. And then you couldn't get any of them for cheap and you had to pay $100 and that's even if you're lucky to find one for sale. It's so weird how just sudden it seemed those, you know, dried up. Sure, it was a little more gradual than that, but it just seemed like, you know, one day, plentiful. You can grab one, no rush, get whenever you want, 10 bucks, most, you're good. And then the next day, yep, they're all gone. <laughs> Sorry, can't even get one if you had 50 bucks. Can't even get one if you had 100 bucks. I mean, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I did see an auction for the gold chrome Chick Hicks along with two other Chick Hickses, I think, on eBay recently. It was an auction, like I said and it was beat up. I think it was coming from the United Kingdom. I was thinking about bidding on it, but I was like, yeah, this is just too beat up. No sense in me getting that at all. Let somebody else have it. Here's a factory custom chrome lenticular chick hicks. This is a whole nother like facet inside to the factory custom realm. All these chromes, they have done so many like this. They're not in the book. They're also, though, not available now, so it's kind of in like a middle ground, weird territory. The factory custom world is so complex, so nuanced. It's something that you could do a TED Talk on and you still wouldn't be able to cover it all. And it's something that I just really love because it just expands upon what we already have, you know. I'm able to keep up with what Mattel puts out in the Disney Store and Tomica. And I'm like, turn to somebody else. You know, I'll turn to whatever I can to get that car's fix. Because I'm obsessed. I'm addicted. Yeah, here's the Silver Chick Hicks from 2020. A very cool, underrated release. And then here's your Cars 3 Chick Hicks, which is, you know, pretty useless to compare to. But still cool, and I find it interesting that he has no decals on his back window, just like the Dynaco version of him. Whereas every single other version of him had those covered. Yes, he was running low on money and needed as much sponsorship cash as possible. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comment section below which version of Chick Hicks or which pink car is your favorite. They're all amazing in my opinion, but honestly, my favorite would be this Chick Hicks that we're looking at here. I just think it's the most unique and obviously very adverse to what we usually perceive Chick Hicks to be, which is just like the mean, mean green, right? I mean, it rhymes, kind of, but pink chicks? Hey, it works too. Probably a little humiliating to him, but you put pink on me, I love it. I actually just bought a pair of pink shorts the other day. I feel like I really embody just the pink color and wear proudly. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye now. Wait, 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 what about the announcement you promised us? Yeah, if you stuck around to the end end of this video, here it is. I will be restarting the variations videos that I had done 
many, many years ago, talking like six plus years ago now, where I would take all the variations of a certain character and review them all and kind of show them all in one video. Bringing that series back, the first episode will be Chick Hicks.